Hey everybody, JRSBC here with another pack break video and today we're opening up three packs of 1992 Series 3 Stadium Club Baseball. These have the Super Premium Kodak Image Technology. Uh, for those of you not familiar, Stadium Club came out in 1991 and they were very popular for their photography. Uh, they had a super gloss surface and they were just ahead of their time. Uh, and they were a little bit expensive, more than I could afford to pay. These packs got 15 cards each. There's no inserts or anything like that in here. Um, I don't think that there's any notable rookies. I mean, there's no notable rookies in here, but <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I don't think that there's any super... Anybody who's <laughs> worth a buck, but we'll find out. We'll find out, won't we? Alrighty. 1992 was a, or 1992 was a, was a year where... The big rookies were either in Bowman or like Flare Update or that's about it really. You got your Piazza and your um, Mariano Rivera. Uh, Carlos Delgado is in that set as well. He's He should be mentioned. Uh, okay, so you got right off the bat, you got Mike Kingery. So you see how this is a little bit different than normal. No border, not a lot of graphics, just a nice looking picture. And one thing I liked on, the, on these right here was on the back, it always had a picture of their Topps rookie card. Now, I say Topps rookie card because these guys could have had a card that was issued on a year sooner from a different set, but they put the first Topps card. So, this, for example, Mike Kingery's um, rookie card, Topps rookie card, 1987 Topps. Now, generally, that is all, always is usually always a rookie. There's only a few examples where it might not be, but anyways... So there's that. There's the back of the card too. They always had this interesting uh, chart here, talking about the guy's skills and so on. All right, moving right along. Sid Fernandez, one of the greats, in my opinion, greats with the Mets. Mike Morgan, hey, he lives right here in my town right now, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, Bruce Ruffin, Mariano Duncan. Now these are here are also usually notorious for sticking, but these are here were stored in a. Nice, cool, dry place. Bob Patterson. Mike. Oh, no, sorry. That's Eric King. That looked like Mike Henneman for a second there. That's funny. I almost, got, I almost thought that was Mike Henneman. Uh, Kevin Campbell. guess it just goes to show you that it's important to read the names because just because I've seen cards for a million years doesn't mean I <laughs> get it right every time. Troy Affner. Now, this, this is a fun example here. So his tops, very first tops card happens to be this same card. So it has that pictured on the back. Pretty interesting. Rick Aguilera. He's an old Met again. Xavier Hernandez. This is like the first time I ever seen a product have a Series 3 as well. Doug Jones. I don't think they had one in night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first yeah, first product. There's Greg Jeffries. And he's got a super nostalgic rookie card. Donald Harris. Uh, very famous card. The 1989 Topps. Future stars, everybody wanted it back when I was a kid. Uh, here's an example of them having a card that's not actually his rookie. So he had a 1988 Donruss uh, card and an 88 score card and an 88 flare card. Uh, but Tops didn't make their first card of him until 1989. So that's an example of when it's actually not the rookie. So I'm glad we got to see all that in the same <laughs> one, same pack. <laughs> We got to see the Stadium Club card being their first card, a regular top rookie, and then a top card that is not actually a rookie. All right, moving right along here. Okay, we got Frank Viola, great pitcher back in the day. Played for the Mets, Twins, Red Sox. Uh, Jeff Parrott. Mike Witt, another great pitcher, like I said in my previous videos. Very good pitcher, hard-throwing pitcher. Ted Wood. Bob Zubzik, I forgot how to say his last name, it's been a while. Dennis Rasmussen, Joe McGrain, I used to call him Joe Morgan all the time when I was a kid. Barry Jones, Terry Leach, real nice guy. He used to play for the Mets, he's on the 86 Mets team as well. Tim Sherrill, that's some propaganda. Bob Walk, Jeff Shaw, I never liked Bob Walk, I used to pull him all the time. And I was not a Pirates guy. Keith Miller, another former Met. Liked him a lot back in the day. Tony Pena. And El Presidente, Denny Martinez. Another good one with a really unique style of pitching. Okay, last pack. 
Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you are enjoying these uh, three-pack breaks. It's a little bit quicker than doing a whole hoppy box. Uh, I thought I'd try something different for you. Open up a bunch of a variety of old cards and uh, just make short videos just so you can kind of take a walk down memory lane just looking at stuff. Lance Blankenship, he was a stud back in the day. Mark Leiter, that's Al Leiter's brother. Jeff Ennis, he just passed away not too long ago, unfortunately. Sidearm, submarine-style pitcher. Dwayne Ward for the Mets. Willie Blair, Dennis Rasmussen again. We just pulled him and him. And him. And him. And him. <laughs> More propaganda. So the only card we got that was different was the propaganda card. All right. Dennis Boucher. Jack Armstrong. He was an ace on the Indians back in the day. Scott Ruskin. Mike Perez. And the last one is going to be the Wizard of Oz. Ozzy Smith. See, aren't these just nice looking cards? Just something different, you know? And on the back, you got his first rookie card, which was a Topps card back then, and it's the 79 Topps. And I'll tell you what, if you pull those out of packs, they're not centered as good as that. <laughs> Notoriously off-centered card. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Later.